election has been defined by Mamamboga. The face of this election is a woman. She is called Mamamboga. Not Mamamoja. Mamamboga. And I want to say that Kenya Kwanza is the movement, is the coalition, is the place of the Kenyan women. Let me repeat again. This election is about the economy. The face of this election is defined by Mamamboga and this election, Kenya Kwanza, is the place for the women of Kenya. The most, the most formidable women leaders in Kenya are in Kenya Kwanza. Let me repeat it again. The most formidable women leaders in the Republic of Kenya are in Kenya Kwanza. Let me ask all the women members of parliament and women senators and women governors who are in this meeting to stand up. Wasimame. Wale wa mama. Wale wa mama. Ambao ni wabunge. Ambao ni ma senators. Ambao ni women rep. Na wale wengine wote wasimame. Asante ni sana. That is the big team of women leaders of the Republic of Kenya who are representing other women in this meeting. Tapadali Ketini. In our midst, we have MCAs who are women leaders. Can they wasimame wale MCAs wote? Wasimame. Thank you very much. When I say, when I say the most formidable women leaders in Kenya are in Kenya Kwanza, there is already testimony. Kwamba Katika Bunge Linayokuja, Bunge Lakumi Natatu. to demonstrate that Kenya Kwanza is the place of women even before the election even before the 9th of August we already have a woman who has been elected as a woman rep from Kericho County Huyu mama anaitwa Huyu mama anaitwa Beatrice Kemei. She is already the unopposed women representative of Kericho County. Wapenduru ya Beatrice Jameni. There are already very clear signs that we will have the most elected women in the next parliament coming from Kenya Kwanza. Let me also say the following. I am not a prophet but I can predict that Kenya Kwanza will produce the most elected women governors in the next government.
Let me repeat it again. In the next government, Kenya Kwanza will produce the most elected women governors are setting a record in the Republic of Kenya. Having said that, we have many leaders in our midst, and it is only fair that I introduce them. We know very well that these men are actually women champions. In our midst, we have Rigadi Gashagwa, our very able deputy captain. Able lead Kenya, Moses Masika. In our midst, we have the party leader, the, the Honorable Justin Bidan Muturi, also the party leader of the Democratic Party. In our midst, we have the Honorable William Kabogo Getao. In our midst, we have the Iron Lady from Coast Province. The Honorable Aisha Katana Dumwa. Mekatilili Wamenza of our times. In our midst, we have the current senator and future governor, 
of Nakuru County. Susan. We have the current nominated member of parliament and future governor of Embu County, Cecily Barire. In our midst, we have the current governor in our midst and future governor we have of Kirinyaga County, the Lion Lady from Mumbi, Waiguru, Atana, Tumwa. In our midst, we have the current deputy governor. In our midst, we have. Mama Fatuma Achani, the current senator and future governor of Nakuru County, Susan Keheka. In our midst, we have the current nominated member of parliament and future governor of Embu County, Cecily. Mbarire and future governor of Kirinyaga County. In our midst, we have the current deputy governor and future governor of Kwane County, Mama Fatuma Achani. Member. Wow, we have very great women here. We have the current. Kipia, the lioness, Mama Ketu Waruguru. We have the current senator from Kilifi, Mama Zawadi, Jenny Makofi. We have the current women representative from Kajiado Mama County, Ketu Waruguru. We have the current senator from Kilifi. Mama Zawadi, Jenny Makofi, County. You know her, she's on a wheelchair, but she's a great, great woman. Jenny Makofi. We have the current nominated member of parliament and future MP from Meru, Mama Halima Musheke. We have the current senator. Mama Palhada. We have the current member of parliament from, for women, uh, member of uh, parliament, a women rep from West Pokot. Mama Tomi Tom, Jenny Makofi. We have the Karua County. We have Mokami Mashinani, Member of Parliament from Nyeri County. We have Wamaua, Member of Parliament from Maragua, present and future. We have Mama Jane Kihara, a great woman from Naivaja. Mama Charity Kadambi, all the way from Joro. Current and future member of parliament for Njoro constituency. Is there any other woman here who is elected? Wow. We have Gadoni Wamushomba. The current women rep from Alice Nganga from Pika Town, the current Deputy Governor of Makweni and future women rep. We have Wamurada from Kiambu. We have the current Deputy Governor from Nandi County and future Deputy Governor as well. We have Mama Chematia Sergon. 
from a member of parliament from East Africa Legislative Assembly and future women rep of Baringo County. We have from Laikipia County women rep, Yeni Makofi. We have a member of parliament in waiting from Aldai, Mama Keitan. We have many other women. Let me, and the great woman from Nairobi County, Mama Bishop Margaret Wanjiro, Senator. We have the Iron Lady from Oranga, Mama Alice Mudoni Wahome. And we have the women rep from Wasingishu County, Mama Sorry the other women, I, I may not be able to mention all of you, but you are all great women. Ongezi sana. Ongezi. Ongezi. Let us clap for all the women. Wow. And we have Toto. All the way from Bomet County. Now, thank you very much. Let me just say this. We have come here. This is a very special moment. Not for the women of Kenya, but for us as a nation, collectively. And we have come here so that we can put pen to paper on the Women Charter. Yeah. On the Women Charter of the Republic of Kenya. And none other than these leaders. And in our midst, we have the leader of the pastoralist community in Kenya, the one and only, Aden Bare Duale, from Northeastern Kenya. And to also witness this occasion is Mama Dokas Rigadi, the spouse of the deputy captain of our team the man to be the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. And of course, we have Mama Rachel Ruto, who is in our meeting. We also have the Director General We also have in our midst the Director General of our presidential campaign, the current Governor of Turkana County, the Honorable Josphat Nano. So let me say this. We have come here so that we can change the destiny of our nation by making sure that the single most important issue in the Republic of Kenya, the mainstreaming of half our population, the great women, the shakers and movers of the Republic of Kenya, the women of the Republic of Kenya are mainstreamed into the politics governance, leadership, business, the economy of the Republic of Kenya. And that is why we have come here. All of us have come here to listen to the women leaders, 
We have gone through many counties. We are remaining with a few. And while we went through the many economic fora across the country, we listened to the women of Kenya. They told us many things. They told us things about empowerment. They told us things about leadership. They gave us examples of how they want things to change. And today, we have come here so that we can put together all the views that we have heard from across the country, listen and finalize what will become the Women Charter of the Republic of Kenya that will be the turning point of what women have been looking for since the advent of independence in the Republic of Kenya. So today marks a turning point in the governance of the Republic of Kenya. Today will be the point where women can sit on equal basis at the decision table with all the other leaders of the Republic of Kenya. And we are going to make it possible. Women will become equal partners, will have equal say, will occupy equal positions in the highest decision-making organ of the Republic of Kenya. It's not a favor, it is not a fadali, it is the right thing to do. So, as we have come here, we are ready. We want to listen to you, our daughters, our wives, our mothers, the women of Kenya. We have come to listen to you so that together we can shape the future, we can create the future, we can share and make a new destiny for Kenya together as men and women of the Republic of Kenya. So this is an opportunity like no other and I am a very proud Kenyan today. I am a very proud leader that today we will get rid of tokenism, we will get rid of peace mills, and we will ensure that women in their millions are right at the table making the critical decisions together with all the other Kenyans so that we can shape and create a future that has the input of the women of the Republic of Kenya. So, Thank you very much. Welcome to this conversation. I am looking forward to it, and all the leaders here are looking forward to that moment. Karibuni sana. Ah, Ruto, 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 your Excellency, we want to hear from one dynamic woman, Jerry Kabeberi. Jerry Kabeberi.